welcome back to Down the Rabbit Hole. My name is Breezy, and this is a podcast where we talk about weird stuff, paranormal activity, urban legends, American folklore, and many more topics. I'm trying to go slow. I'm trying to enunciate, not to let my southern accent really show. And I'm also really wanting to point out I do have a speech impediment. Am I choosing to be petty right now? Never. Anyway, today we're going to talk, if you're new here, hit that like button and ring that bell for notifications. Also, please subscribe. Help a girl out. Um, today, we're going to be talking about something I came across years ago. Completely forgot about until I was doing like, research on potential topics that to talk about um, and everything. But, yeah. But as I said, no one likes, apparently nobody likes a Southern accent. I do live in the Nashville area, so if that offends you, my accent offends you, and everything, I do apologize. I, should I apologize for that, my accent offending you? Anyway, I can't change who I am. I was born and raised in Alabama, moved up to the Nashville area, so if that offends you, oh well. But... If I butcher any names up, I will apologize. I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance that I am terrible at names um, in general. So I'm also going to do my best not to let my speech impediment impede my way. Get it? Get it? I thought it was funny. Um, <laughs> anyway, if you're new here, hit that like button. Ring that bell for notifications. Also, please subscribe. Um, we are so close to my goal of 100 subscribers. And I want to say thank y'all. Thank y'all for subscribing. Um, you know what? I can't not. I can't not say y'all. I can't. Y'all is such an intricate part of my vocabulary. It's been intri- It's been part of me ever since I was a kid. Um, but as I was saying, we're gonna be talking about the island of dolls. And I can't remember how I came across this. I think it was like early on, but then I guess like did some research. Like, what are some fun places to talk, go over? And was this place like on? The reels of Instagram with AI generated, or was like, where are my search history? Anyway, it's on my list of places, and of course, I had to research it to the topic, and now we're talking about it, um, in every day. But the Island of Dolls is a Chinampa of the Laguna de Tequila, located in the channels of the Zachimical. South of the center of Mexico City, Mexico, it is notable for its multitude of dolls in various styles and colors that can be found throughout the island. And local legends surround the island and the local reclusive former owner, Don Julian, is it? No. Julian. No. Don Julian Santana Barrera, making the islands a popular destination for dark tourism. And we all know I love a good dark history. What can I say? I have a very dark and dry sense of humor. I was also raised a son of Belle. Let's keep that in mind. Now, in the mid-20th century, he began to collect dolls and paint them around a small island. And the island gained notoriety in 1943 when the Mexican director Emilio Fernandez used the location for his of the film for Maria Candelaria. And after his death in 2001, the family opened the island to the public as a tourist attraction. In addition to hundreds of dolls, to the grounds host tree huts and small museums with articles in local newspapers about both the island and the previous owner, it is a one-bedroom hut that he slept in and the first doll was collected as displayed as well as Augustina, who was, that was his favorite doll. Now, one can be said and assumed about a man who loved dolls. One can. But I think we're going to keep it PG for this po- podcast because there are some people that are under 18 who are listening who's like, really? Does I love dolls? I must do the research on this place and everything else. Um, and everything. Now, the Island of Dolls is accessible to the public by gondola-like boats referred to... I'm just going to say gondola-like boats because I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that word. I did not take Spanish in high school. I know a few Spanish words and everything else. I also knew some of the few Spanish rules. I don't know much of them, though. 
But most roles are willing to transport people to the island, but there are those who refuse to who refuse out of superstition. And the journey includes a tour of the ecological area, a museum, a canal, and many more. So what is the legend behind all of this? Well, it is said that he have came across this body of a young girl floating in the canals and failed to save her from drowning. The next day, he found a doll drifting in the canal, believing it believed it was to meant to be her. Now, he hung the doll from the tree in her memory as a talisman to ward off evil spirits. It is sometimes claimed that Barrera found a second doll in the canal the next day, and it's speculated that after the death of the young girl, it, her girl spirit haunted the island, and to appease uh, Barrera, um, he began scouring the trash and trading produce from his garden in exchange for more dolls. Evidence of the girl's existence is yet to be reported. So, in 2001, his nephew um, came to the island to help his uncle as they fished the canal, who Barrera, who was then, who was 80, was seen passionately claiming the mermaids in the water, were calling for him. And the nephew left briefly upon his return and found him lifeless, face down in the canal, the same spot where he found the little girl, who was said to have drowned. Now, since the island is open to the public, there have been reports of the dolls moving their heads, arms, and opening their eyes, and visitors have claimed to have heard the dolls whispering to each other. Now, many visitors occasionally have placed offerings around the dolls in exchange for miracles and blessings, and some change the dolls' clothes to maintain the island's form of worship. So how does this play in the media? Well, it was featured on Ghost Adventures um, and the some show called Lore. It was also featured in a BuzzFeed Unsolved and everything else. So... But, yes. But what do y'all think of this island? If anyone's been there, do y'all have any personal experience with this island? Um, I'm very curious to know. Um, that is it. Um, I will see y'all next time as we talk about the town of Jerome, Arizona. And then we're going to be talking about Primrose House in the episode following that. Y'all have a great day. And, hey, it's fall. You can't go wrong with fall.